Hi and welcome to Code with Stein. In this video I'm going to show you how to design the perfect Django model. First I'm going to create a model and then I'm going to show you how I want to use it. I'm going to start by creating a class here, article, which is the name of the model. I want the article to have different statuses, if it's published or draft or something like that. But I want to add some constants on top here. Draft which is one, published, and then I want to add a tuple to contain these two constants. This is the label, and this is the value. Below this, I want to add the fields for the model. I want the title, models.char fields. I want the slug. And a body. And the status, char field, max length, 20. Then, then I want to add this here, so I can choose between these. And the default should be published. So I can say published, which will refer to this. The reason why I use this instead of numbers or anything is because that published is much easier to use in an API and it's much more easy to understand what it actually does. Below the fields I like to add meta, which is options for the table. I can add ordering, title, this always needs to have comma here if you just use one field. I can also add a verbose name, article, which is article in Norwegian, but it's just a human readable name. And below the meta, I want to add a def str return self.title. This is a human readable representation of the object. Okay, for now I can just save this and update the database. Python manage make migrations migrate okay everything seems to be okay so then I can go ahead and add a couple of functions I always want to have the save function and I want the save function here because I want to override the default functionality so that we can automatically create the slug field self.slug equals slugify self.title we need to import slugify which is a default function from django um, django.utils.text import slugify I need to add one more line below here super article self dot save so now i run the parent function i just did did this before the actual save function i want one more function here which is the get absolute url which gives me the reverse url for this article self Whoops, return reverse article detail, which is the name for the view. Kworgs article ID self dot ID. This could be a slug or anything, it's just that it's just that I added this as a parameter. 
These are kind of default functions that very many models have. Below here, I like to add the custom functions like def get title length return self dot title dot length. It's just a stupid function, but just wanted to show that the custom function. I need to import the reverse function before I do anything more. So from django.urls import rever reverse and save. And this is what a perfect Django model should look like. You import things, you add constants and choices, then the fields, then the meta, the string, save functions and get absolute URL which are default functions and then you add the custom functions. So then I can go in here to the shell and show you how to use this from the article that models import article. I can first create one article article that object that create title the article body this is the body a1 a1 equals article with object get pk equals 1 a1 dot slug so we see that the slug was created automatically a1 get absolute URL that works perfect a1 get title length oops is there object has no attribute length no sorry that was JavaScript <laughs> then like that stop this just this a1 get title length there a1 dot status then I get published perfect and I can also say now a1 dot status equals article dot draft a1 dot save and if I now say a1 dot status I get draft instead perfect if you want more videos like this you can subscribe to my channel and also remember to click the bell so you get a notification